Okay, I've taken the liberty of starting a little code for you here. I'm just trying to illustrate the biggest pitfall with array lists. When you try to remove many items from an array list, frequently people forget to take into account that the objects in the array list slide to the left automatically when you remove an item. And this becomes problematic. Let's say I want to go through my array list here and remove all of the words that contain the letter A. Okay, so let's check this out. Let's see what I can do here. So we want a for loop, obviously. Start at zero. Again, size is the way you talk about length when you deal with array lists. Let's actually, let's go ahead and contain a string s gets my list dot get. We use the get method to go in and grab one particular element. I want to say if s dot index of capital A is greater than or equal to zero, or s dot index of little a. If either of these are true, then we're going to remove it from the list. So we want to say my list dot remove whatever index we are currently at. Right? Looks so far so good. Now let's print up our list and see if all of the a's got removed. Compile. Ah, shoot. What did I do wrong here? Oh, index plus plus, fool. Okay, sorry. There we go. Nice. There we go. Alright, so let's take a look. Hopefully, there we go. So again, the top one is the original, eight baboon, cat, dog, elephant, fawn, goose, and we're supposed to have removed all the words with all the words with the letter A in it. But clearly we missed two of them. How is it that we missed two? We removed ape, we did not remove baboon. We removed cat, we removed elephant, but we did not remove fawn. Well think about what's happening here. When I'm here at ape, I remove it, and when I remove it, the baboon value slides into the zero index. In my loop, I don't take account for that, right? If I find one that needs to be removed, I remove it, and then I go to the next iteration of my loop, index plus pluses, and I don't check the zero index a second time. So in other words, consecutive values that need to be removed are going to be neglected based on the way I coded this. And the way we have to take this into account is if I remove something, I need to minus minus my index so that when it gets plus plus out here, it stays with its total value. So again, with that first value, index starts out at zero, I do need to remove the, the word uh, oh, alligator, whatever it was, ape. I can't remember. My list dot remove that value, minus minus. At this point, index is a negative one, which seems dangerous, but again, we come to the end of the loop, index gets plus plus again, it's back to zero. Now it's gonna check baboon, which has slid down into the zero slot. So now all of the words containing the letter A should be removed, sure enough only dog and goose are left and all the other ones have of the letter A in it. There's another way you can manage this problem which is a little more elegant. This is kind of what people start out doing but if you iterate backwards through the array, let's comment this out. Another way to do this is to say index equals my list dot size. Now we want this to be a legal index so we have to subtract one and then instead of plus plusing every time we minus minus through the loop. And now we want to say as long as index is greater than or equal to zero. Does everybody see what we're doing here? Instead of going from the zero index and iterating to the right, I'm starting at the right end of the end the right end of the array list, iterating backwards. And now you can go take a let's go take a look at the output. If I if I start here, this one doesn't have to be removed, but if I start here and I remove fawn, it means that goose will slide down, but goose has already been checked. So none of the items that still need to be checked are being slid at all. This is a little more elegant because it means that I don't need my curly braces anymore, right? So we can kind of make this look a little prettier. So some people prefer this approach. All right, great, good luck.